Hey y'all, and uh, welcome to another master class. Uh, I'm glad you could be here. And today, I want to give with you to give you some information about using grains and legumes as a natural plant source for all your plants and why you should do it. If you like these videos, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get all the latest videos and updates. So let's get on down to the source of things. Grains such as soybean, alfalfa, quinoa, kidney beans, black beans, white beans, oats, dinkle, buckwheat, brown rice, and millet for instance contain the highest amounts of uh, natural growth hormones that are available to plants. These grains also are high in amino acids, auxins, gibberellins, cytokin, and protein, which is exactly what your plants need. When using plants as a nutrient source, it is important to use the right ones, meaning uh, the ones with the highest amounts of all available plant growth hormones and plant growth regulators. And as you probably know, it is very difficult to grow the vegan way unless you are using the strongest plants available to make your nutrients with. And this holds especially true when you're growing cannabis plants. If you have been keeping up with our videos, you know that um, we grow plants using the big three growth hormones, which are amino acids, auxins, and gibberellins. And by doing this, we also get cytokines and protein. Amino acids, for instance, are the building blocks for proteins in plants and is a bioorganic nutritional product derived from vegetable sources required for plant growth and development and for higher yields. It promotes hormonal activity and induces the synthesis resulting into flowering and fruit setting. Chemicals known as auxins inform plants when to form roots. Auxins play a cardinal role in the coordination of many growth and behavioral processes in the plant life cycle and are essential for plant body and stem development. Auxins tell plants when to form roots and uh, they are responsible for promoting plant stem elongation, cell growth and division, root initiation and bud and flower growth. Gibberellins are one of the longest known classes of plant growth hormones that regulate various uh, developmental processes including stem elongation, germination, dormancy, flowering, flower development, and of course leaf and fruit sequences. In other words, gibberellins help plants grow taller, help them with fruit ripening and uh, the flowering process as well. Next we come to protein, uh, which is something that hardly anybody speaks about, but plants need protein just like humans do. So make sure that your grow regimen contains high amounts of amino acids, which in turn will give you more protein. Protein will help your plants grow large and big because 16%, approximately 16% of protein is nitrogen. And providing uh, your soil microbes with high protein plant food will ensure a steady supply of nutrients to your plants allowing them to produce their own proteins which are essential for plant growth and uh, helping them to avoid many of the problems related to poor plant nutrition all used together with cytokinins which are plant specific chemical messenger hormones that play a central role in the regulation of the uh, developmental process Cytokines are present in all plant tissues, uh, but most abundantly in the root tips, apex, shoot, and uh, in immature seeds. Plants containing all the nine uh, essential amino acids are considered perfect foods. So supply your plants with the best and strongest vegan nutrients for 100% nutrient intake. And the benefits would be a, a better nutrient intake, better resistance to stress, uh, steer plant development, increased pollen and fertility, it promotes plant stem elongation, it 
raises uh, low PK levels in your plants, promote an increased rooting, and contain tryptophan, the feel-good hormone. We're going to review all of these grains and legumes that provide these nutrients uh, in abundance for your plant uh, health and growth process. And we are going to review all the grains and legumes that provide these uh, super growth hormones and regulators in abundance to use for your plant nutrient sources. And in our next video, we're going to look at soybean. And you'll be surprised what soybean has to offer. But until then, if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thank you. Ciao, bella.